This next comedian, you can find him all over Miami. Really fun guy. I think you guys are going to love him just like everybody else. Please put your hands together for Seabass Matal! <laughs> I'm cheering. I need some fucking cheering, bro. Fucking asshole. Holy shit, you guys are dicks. Leave me out there like a special needs kid. Where's his wheelchair? I don't know. <laughs> fucking cat daddy. What's up, Miami? Yeah. Been hearing you night. You fucking people all night. I've been hearing you guys back there. I haven't seen you. What's up, bro? Rise above it, you know? Up with hope, down with dope. You know what I'm talking about? Hugs, not drugs. You know what I'm saying? Gotta keep them kids on their toes, even though I was smoking weed at 12. Any 12 year olds weed smokers here in the house? Yeah. I smoke with that guy who just said, yeah, I smoked, I swear to God. You ever smoke with somebody who never put clear eyes before they talk to their parents? <laughs> oh shit, man. You, I know, you, you, look, you were around before clear eyes even happened, mama. I know. You're an OG, you're real. You smoked dope when it was dope. That shit didn't matter about nothing. I told my buddy, I'm like, hey, listen, man, you should put some fucking clear eyes. He's like, no, I got it. Yeah, right, we pulled in his house. <laughs> we go into his house. I'm sitting on the couch with his brother. And his dad's like, oh, I need to talk to you in the room, please. I look at his brother, I'm like, you should have put the clear eyes, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Who do we have from Miami? What part of Miami do we have here? Hialeah? Fuck you. Nobody cheers for Hialeah in the secret. Everyone likes to go, yeah, Hialeah. Miami Lakes, get the fuck out of here. Look at that shit. Get the fuck out of here. Westchester, we got Westchester in the house. Hey, Westchester. That's the fuck I'm talking about, Westchester. You know Miami stands for something? Like M-I-A-M-I? -I? You look not impressed. I'm gonna blow your fucking mind. M-I-A-M-I. -I. It stands for money is a major issue. <laughs> and as an efficiency connoisseur, for $600 a month, money's a major issue. <laughs> Told y'all I was gonna impress you, bro. I'm glad you took a sip of that drink. <laughs> That's where I got my nickname, Seabass. Like, much like Miami is stands for something, Seabass stands for something as well. It's spelled C-B-A-S. Can't buy anything Shit. expensive. Because <laughs> <laughs> a few people in the back not laughing, they got a Miami Day college. They're like, yeah, that's, that's expensive. Yeah, you said it right. <laughs> No door of the fucking explorer door, I did it. I'm the last guy you want to see on Wheel of Fortune. Spin that shit. Can I buy a vowel? No. Okay, uh, expensive. Expensive it is. Can't buy anything expensive. You ever done some shit where you can't buy anything expensive? Yeah? What happened to you? <laughs> Your shit should say, rise above being broke. That's what your shit should say. My, rise above efficiencies. That's what my shit would say right there. No, can't buy anything expensive, man. You know, you go AMC on Tuesdays, $5 Tuesdays. I expect to see you guys there next week. It's okay. You pass by the Dollar Tree before, get all your snacks and shit. Single people in the house? Yay! Single men? All right, for all you future... For the future single men's here, bro, what you want to do is take a girl on a date to the movies. They say it's not a good first date, but I say bullshit. This tells you a lot about somebody. Awesome. I'll tell you right now, Dora, you explore, Dora. When you go pick her up, if she doesn't come, if she comes out with a fucking, you look like you carry a clutch to the fucking movies. Oh, shit. I can't have, relax, you too. I'm just. Eating your fucking popcorn. Where'd you pull that out from? Your purse? What's, what size is your purse? Let me see your purse. Pull that out. What the fuck are you gonna sneak? What are you gonna sneak into the movie theater with that? Nothing. Not a goddamn thing. That's right. I need a bitch that's got a beach bag and shit, you know? That's like. 
We could go buy the Dollar Tree, get M&M's, a wine cooler, a fucking two cups and shit. That's what I need. Nah, you, you're expensive. Get the new expensive as fuck. With the EX and shit. I can't deal with that shit. You ever walk into McDonald's with exact change? Oh shit, you guys have. I fuck with y'all. Huh? Rise above being broke, I'm telling you, bro. Don't fuck. I walked into McDonald's with exact change one time. I was a little kid. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I grew up in a Hispanic household. And we had Zephyr Hill jugs laying around the house. And it was either filled with A, matches. I don't fucking know why. <laughs> or B, coins. Yeah, por si acaso, if the car was fucked up, you had the money in the car. No, mija, tengo Zephyr Hills aquí. Lo damos vuelta y ahí arreglamos los frenos. And the car was running fine at the time. I'm not a piece of shit, okay? I'm not an asshole. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna go to McDonald's, and I got a clothes hanger, I untangled that bitch, and I started with double-sided duct tape fishing for fucking eight quarters and 14 cents, okay? That's 214 for the Miami Dade College crowd in here. That's not mathematicians, you know what I'm saying? I'm fishing in that mother, and I got, you know, I got eight quarters, 14 cents, I'm ready to go, I'm walking to McDonald's, there's a long line, I get to the front, I look at the guy, his name's Eric, I'm like, hey Eric, uh, I had a game plan, okay, this shit was premeditated, I knew what I was gonna get. I look at him, I go, hey, can I get a uh, double cheeseburger plain? I don't like that pickles and onions and shit. <laughs> and a McChicken. Now, I confidently knew I had the money in my pocket. I had all eight quarters and 14 cents, I was ready to go. As I'm getting ready to flip this money out, Eric is gonna look back at me and goes, all right, yeah, it's gonna be 237. <laughs> nah, I start explaining to him, I saw him like, man, my name is Steve Bassett, can't buy anything expensive, you know, like, I can't. <laughs> I ain't got the 37. You ever had a McDonald's employee have sympathy for you? <laughs> Holy fuck, man, that makes you feel like shit inside. <laughs> this guy felt bad, he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He saw the panic in my face, he's like, relax. And then, bro, with the line of people, this guy does the dopest shit I've ever seen. He leans over and opens up that Ronald McDonald's donation box <laughs> for the needy kids. Oh my God, it was like, you know, the broke God sent me this shit. <laughs> and I looked back at him and I was like, thank you so much. <laughs> Bro, look, I, I know there's a few people not laughing here, and I get it, but listen, I had a line of people behind me. I had to make this shit look believable. <laughs> I'm getting ready to walk away, and he grabs a water cup, and he's like, hey, go get coke. <laughs> <laughs> this shit's no joke. I can't buy anything expensive, man. This is real life. I'm not kidding, bro. I lived in inefficiency. This is real. Anybody here lived in inefficiency? Don't be ashamed, I can't see you. I'm not about to roast you. Y'all some lying ass fuckers. Y'all some lying, y'all gonna let me out here just burn by myself. Tremendo con me pinga. Fucking people, no man, listen. By round of applause, who does not, and this, be honest, who does not know what an efficiency is? You guys are fucking assholes. You guys got me fucking burning in the spotlight. Bro, oh, it's fucking horrible. It's fucking horrible. I just moved out into an apartment. Can I get a round of applause? Yeah. Yeah. This, guy, this guy was like, yeah, bro, I, I remember that day, bro. It was fucking great. I'm cooking shit now. I got rice and one pot, beans and another chicken. The power's still on. I'm like, holy shit. This shit's amazing. I'm living like a fucking king, bro. I became a part-time exterminator in my efficiency. I fucking dealt with roaches, termites every fucking season. I knew it was summer the minute I got out of bed and I felt wood pile droppings on my feet. I'm like, yep, it's fucking summer, bro. The fucking termites are back. No, tal vez venga tipo, verdad. No, tal vez venga el exterminator que llamaron mi fucking landlord. They didn't do shit. Oh yeah, we're gonna put these vegan organic things in the roof of the ceiling and hopefully they go away. I was like, fuck that shit, bro. <laughs> like, give me some Santeria or something, bro. I need to get rid of these fucking termites, bro. I'm fucking tired of this. Fun fact, if you're from Miami, and it's the middle of summer, and you see those lights going on in the uh, tropical park, 
Santa's enchanted forest. That's how you know Christmas is coming. Winter is coming. <laughs> yeah, Christmas is coming. It's called Santa's Enchanted Forest, and that shit's enchanted with Santeria. That's what the fuck that shit's enchanted with. I'm just running by and see goat heads. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> I don't get why we're doing this. I fucking dealt with termites, maggots, flies, roaches, the whole nine. The worst part, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that shit's tough. You didn't want to listen. If my girlfriend wasn't in the crowd, you come to the apartment too, but we go half and half on shit. So, you don't know where we need to tell me, Logan. Especially with that purse. You know, my girlfriend would be like, no, 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 no. She's got to have a bigger purse than that, bro. But I'll be that. You're not fucking around with that. No, man. When I was in the efficiency, trying to get my girlfriend to come over was fucking tough. I had to, like, stretch the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to tell her one time, I cut my finger washing dishes in the shower. <laughs> Do you know how bad that is? I had soap suds running down me and blood at the same time. And I was like, how the fuck do I explain this shit to a Jackson Memorial nurse? Like, <laughs> this bitch, you know, I got no Obamacare at all. Like, <laughs> we're all fucked. And then I figured it out, I was like, you know what? If you throw your dirty dishes in the toilet and flush, that's like a can't buy anything expensive dishwasher, you know what I'm saying? Like, people keep coming over, they're like, man, this food's kind of shitty, but... No, man, I had to get my girl over to my house one time. I kind of bent the truth a little bit, not a lot. I was like, girl, it's gonna be a tight fit. She thought I was talking about my dick. Absolutely not. I was talking about the place. Like, this is little. Like, we got to figure this shit out. And I'm a gentleman, okay? Laid it down on the bed. You know, her head's resting on the pillow. Her left leg is in the kitchen, though. I was like, whoa, whoa, hey, chill. Don't, don't burn yourself with the hot top. That shit, she's, she's gonna brand herself at the bottom of her feet like fucking Woody with Andy and shit, you know? Get the fuck out of here. No. Her right arm was in the bathroom. <laughs> she came twice to flush the toilet. I was like, bitch, you washing dishes too? You are fishing as fuck. <laughs> we need to kick it in this efficiency, bro. No, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really 305 till I die. Like, at least until the rent gets too high, but lo menos, you know? Like, I might be 954 if Miami keeps on with these fucking prices, bro. I don't know what to tell you. But I've done some Miami shit. Like, I've worked for the Miami Dolphins. We got any sad-ass Dolphins fans in the house today? Yo, two and nine, baby, tank for tour. Get the fuck out of here. All your Facebook posts. Tank for Tua, bro. We're going to get this fucking quarterback. He's great. No, 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 no. Bullshit. Bullshit. Absolutely. <laughs> the guy's got a hip of a 60-year-old man. That shit cracked. He got hit by a lineman. Oh, my whole hip is out. Get the, get the fuck out of here. Thank, thank you, you for finishing that shit for me. Maybe you can stay. I'll talk to my girlfriend after the show. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I actually got the privilege to work for the Dolphins and the Miami Marlins, okay? No wonder why they're shirts. No, no, wonder the, no wonder why they're what? Oh, this shit, yeah, this shit's free. Man, I have a 2020 membership. Get the fuck. Half of you guys thought this shit was a jersey and shit. No, hell no. This shit was free. That's what happened. <laughs> I'm financially aware. If it's free, it's for me. And I'm taking it, you know? Get <laughs> the fuck out of this. Can't buy anything expensive. It's not a joke. This is a way of life. I'm working for the Miami Marlins. And um, anybody here been to a Marlins game? That's a fucking lie. Absolutely. You guys are drunk. I know that. I know a drunk cheer. There's more people here than at the fucking stadium, okay? And I know that because I was a hype man. That was my job. You know how ironic it is to be a hype man for a fucking baseball team? Mama. That's what he No sé qué decirte, mija. You rode the short bus in school, huh? Holy shit. Always from Hialeah on the little Twinkie bus. <laughs> I love, I love Hialeah, man, it's the best, you know? You dislike these fucks on my nails, but you know what, I can't be her prices, you know? I'm in the fucking stadium, and my job as a hype man is to entertain people and keep people going. I got the megaphone, and I'm cheering, let's go, Marlins! Just like the fucking stadium. Somebody's drunk, you dislike these, is painting somebody's nails and shit. Nobody knows what's going on. I felt bad for Billy the Marlin, the mascot. That's our mascot, the Billy. 
Todo mundo, Billy! Hey! Hey, boo! The fuck out of here. I felt bad for Billy till I found out that Billy is a fucking guy in a costume that gets to disguise his identity. I have a megaphone in the motherfucking 40 section going, let's go, Marlins! With Cuban people looking at me going, tremendo come pinga. The last game of the season, I'm excited. I got the Dominican people going. They're like, hey, went down 6-1. They don't give a fuck. They're like, hey, ponchao. Hey. I got the megaphone. I go, let's go, Marlins. And I heard, relax. <laughs> All right, guys, that's my time. I'm C-Bass Thank you guys very much.